Hey, good morning, gang. We'll soon be going study if we keep this up. Every day this week, it's been a joy. It's been a great week. I've thoroughly enjoyed being in the Word with you, being in prayer with you, and I know you have too. It's all about what the Lord is doing in our hearts and our lives. We have his attention, believe me, when you <clears throat> when you're doing everything you can to be in the word, being humble about uh, your own spiritual growth, taking your place when you're wrong, uh, asking him to give you a clean heart, uh, growing in the Lord. It's a joy to grow in the Lord, it really is. And I'm gonna thank you. Yesterday was I enjoyed yesterday. I enjoyed talking to the Lord. I enjoy praying for the people. I enjoy praying for you. If I happened to miss you last night, and I was looking back over all the names and people are on there, and there's a couple in there that I, I'm not sure I mentioned, and uh, you know I love you. And uh, what a joy to bring your prayer requests. Feel free to continue to send them in and uh, we'll get together sometime this week next week again and pray some more okay believe the lord some more don't forget uh, church on sunday uh, find a church of your choice don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together as a manner of some are but so much more as that day approaches and that's the day that's knocking on our door when Jesus is coming back. See, how do you know that? Well, Bible prophecy and current events are lining up and right in front of our eyes. And uh, it can cause a lot of stress, but it can also get your hope up. Because we know what the next spiritual event is. Jesus is coming back. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I, uh, not because of anything I've done, but by the precious, precious blood of God's only Son. Let's go to uh, the book of James this morning. I've got the King James Version here this morning. Bible that my grandfather gave me when I first went into the ministry, John Holden. James chapter 1, verse 19. Now remember what we've been studying all week. The importance of learning self-control in, in relationship with our tongue. Wherefore, I think the word wherefore means here, like uh, finally I'm getting to a really important point here. Uh, wherefore, uh, listen up. This You don't want to miss this. Uh, or uh, like uh, this is coming to the end of the week. We've been studying this week and talking about it. Wherefore, let's do something about it, that type of thing. My beloved brothers. Boy, there was a passion. There was a passion here in James' writing. A passion of love. He wasn't just saying, hey, you guys in the church better shape up. No. He was saying, my beloved brothers. You know, I never, uh, I had sisters. I got all good sisters, three of them. And they all love the Lord and are serving the Lord. I'm so happy about that. Never had a brother, biologically. But I got such a great family of brothers in the Lord. 
I mean, when I say brother, I don't mean, uh, I don't mean to say it casually. I want to say it right from the bottom of my heart. My beloved brothers, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Let every man be, this, this, this is a good three-point sermon here. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, and slow to wrath. I don't need to say nothing more about that, except this. I really need it. I'm learning. He's still working on me. Christian under construction. You need it too. I'm just helping you with that. One more time. Let every man be quick to hear. Slow to speak. Slow to wrath. Okay, while you're letting that digest for a minute, I want to turn over to the book of Proverbs and uh, Proverbs chapter 15 is where I'm heading. You say, why didn't you have that all written down so you wouldn't have to turn? I'd like to see, I'd like you to see me turning because, uh, you know, I want you to get in the word and Learn to find things and turn to. In Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 1, a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of a wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pour out foolishness. Verse 4, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Verse 7, The lips of the wise disperse knowledge but the heart of the foolish do not. We've had a good time together. Thank you, Lord, for your word. You say, Pastor Ken, makes me squirm. Yeah. When I was growing up, I think I was about 12, I was growing fast for my age. And I began to have pains in my body that my legs and my knees and mama took me to Dr. Empson. <laughs> Surprised I could remember that. The Dr. Empson. He looked me all over, checked me over, said, there's nothing wrong with this boy. He's got growing pains. Growing pains. I don't know about you, but fluffy teaching and fluffy preaching and just everything is cool and everything is good and everything love and you're okay and all that's true in perspective but I want something that's meaty that challenges my life and my lifestyle and I want to tell you if it makes you say ouch that's a good thing and I'd like to be the very first to tell you that these lessons this week 
have made me say ouch a number of times. But they have helped me to restrain my mouth this week and to be gentle. I had a couple little slip-ups, but that's a whole lot better than just running full bore in chaos. When you got a loud voice and type of personality that I have, it's easy to get loud, really easy. It's easy to be opinionated. It's an easy to think you're right. I'm pretty honest with you. These scriptures we've been talking about this week make me say, ouch. So thankful for that. He never gives up on me. Nor you. Nor you. Let's pray about it. Father, change my heart, O oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God. May I be like you. We pray that together in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a great day today. I hope that you can find something to do that on this Saturday that, that you really love to do. And do it for you. Because you've worked hard this week and you deserve it. Love you. Bye-bye.